2020학년도 4월 고등학교 3학년 전국 연합학력 평가 영어 영역 듣기 평가 방송을 시작하겠습니다. 1번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. The cookies smell so good, Mom. But why are you baking so many of them? These are the cookies to sell for charity night tomorrow. I see. I have no plans tomorrow. Can I come and help you? 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello. This is Rodney's car repair shop. How may I help you? My car has a problem. It doesn't start. Can you send someone to help me? No problem. Just tell me where you are now. 3번. 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, students. So far, you've done a great job on your science project. Now, there's one last task to do. You must submit the report of your project by next Friday. Let me give you some guidelines to write a report. First, you need to follow this basic structure. Introduction, body, result, and discussion. Second, always stick to your data and evidence. You should make conclusions supported by them. Third, Give complete and correct references. If not, you can be accused of stealing other people's ideas. Lastly, the layout, tables, and graphs should be easy to understand. It'll help you convey your ideas to the readers. If you have any further questions about these guidelines, please ask me after class. 4번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey Simon, did you see the news about pet registration? I did. I think it's good that the government is beginning this pet registration system. Right. After watching the news, I've been thinking it has a lot of benefits. Yes. It'll help pet owners find their lost pets more easily. That's right. It's because the system records pet owners' information. Also, I think the owners will have more responsibility thanks to this system. Yeah, people will think twice before abandoning their pets. In addition, animal rescue workers can easily see who is responsible for the pet. It'll help them track down those bad people and make them pay fines. By doing so, we'll have fewer abandoned pets. Yeah, the pet registration system seems good for both pets and pet owners. You can say that again. 5번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hi, what can I do for you? Hi, I'm looking for something good for purifying the air in my house. You came to the right place. At our flower shop, you can buy plants too. Could you show me some popular ones? Of course. Here are the best-selling indoor plants that help remove pollutants from the air. Hmm, I've never grown any plants before. Okay, then this one might be perfect for you. 
It looks good. Is it easy to take care of? Yes. All you have to do is water it twice a month. I like it. Is this the right price on this tag? It's cheaper than I thought. That's right. It's on sale now. Great. I'll take it. Yukban. Tewa de deco. Kirimesa tewa e neyongwa ilchiaji an nengo se korushio. Hi, Ms. Clark. I'm James Beck. I'm here to look around your daycare center before I sign my son up. Welcome, Mr. Beck. We talked on the phone yesterday, right? Let me show you this room first. That'll be great. I like the banner that says Happy Children's Day on the wall. Thanks. We also put the heart shaped balloon under the banner for Children's Day next week. The kids will love it. What's the picture next to the door? It's a group picture of the kids. Great. There are boxes on the table. What are they for? We put toys in the boxes so the kids can play with them. Does your son like reading books? Actually, he does. Oh, I see the bookshelf under the window. Yes, it has various kinds of books children would like. How nice. My son would love this place. I bet he will. 7번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey Chris, I'm so excited for the student teacher talk show today. Me too. Since it's a live video streaming at the gym, we should be perfectly prepared. Absolutely. Let's mark off these items in the checklist one by one. Okay. First, we've already arranged the chairs for the audience, right? Yes, we have. Did you check the stage lights? They worked perfectly. I'll turn them on right before the show starts. Next, cameras. Are the cameras set in the right places? Yeah, I've just set them up as you told me. How about the projector? Don't worry, I've connected it to the laptop. Good. Is there anything else left to do? You brought the wireless microphones, right? Yes. Oh no, I forgot to bring the batteries for them. Really? Let me go get the batteries right away. Thanks a lot. 8번. 대화를 듣고. 여자가 재즈 콘서트에 갈수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Rachel, what are you doing? Hey, Jeremy. I'm watching a video clip of jazz pianists. You like jazz? Do you go to jazz concerts often? No, I've never been to one. Well, my brother gave me two jazz concert tickets because he has a job interview that day. So, do you want to go with me? That's amazing. When is the concert? It's next Saturday. Are you available? I'm afraid I'm not. Oh, right. You said you started a part time job on weekends. No, it's only on Sundays. I have to take care of my younger brothers that day. Why do you have to do that? My parents asked me because they're celebrating their wedding anniversary. I see. I hope we can go together next time. 9번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Welcome to West Lake Bird Museum. How may I help you? Hello, I'd like to buy admission tickets. My twin daughters are very interested in birds. Okay, admission tickets are $20 for an adult and $10 for a child. 
I'll take one adult ticket and two child tickets. What's this? A guided museum tour? It's a tour where the guide gives excellent explanations about the exhibits of various birds and their habitats. Nice. How much is it? It's $10 per person. The tour starts soon. You can book it now. Okay, I'll do that for the three of us. So, one adult and two child admission tickets and three guided tours. Yes. Can I use this coupon? Sure. You can get 10% off the total price with the coupon. That's great. I'll pay by credit card. Honey, we need to find a soccer program for Kevin. Right. I brought a brochure about Hampton Soccer Program from the community center. Good. Let me see. The program will be held in the soccer field in Riverside Park. Isn't that good? The park is near our house. Right. It says the program starts on May 2nd and it goes every weekend for two months. Yeah, he'll play and practice for three hours a day. Wow, it's a tough schedule. Yes, but he'll improve his skills a lot. Look, the instructor is Aaron Smith. He's a well-known soccer coach in this town. Really? He must be good at teaching. What about the participation fee for the program? It's $400. Do you think it's expensive? It's not bad considering the length of the program. Right. Kevin will be happy to hear about this. I'm sure he'll be. Shibilbon. Hello, listeners. I'm Lily Johnson, Festival Manager. I'm happy to announce the Auburn Green City Festival. It'll be held from May 29th to June 1st. The location will be City Hall Square. This year's theme is Recycling. The festival provides various recycling events and activities. At the opening ceremony, famous musicians will perform. To spread the message of recycling, they'll play instruments made of recycled materials. Also, various hands-on activities are prepared. You can experience turning trash into treasure in activities like making a shopping bag out of old clothes, and creating a recycled art wall. The festival runs from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. There'll be no events at night. We're looking forward to seeing you. Shibibon. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 수강할 서핑 강좌를 고르시오. Amelia, do you want to take a one-day surfing lesson this weekend? Sure. Let's look for the information online. Look, I found a popular surfing lesson website. Hmm. Do you want to go to Manson Beach again? Manson Beach is too far from here. Let's try another place. Okay. What about the level? I don't think we have to take the beginner level as we took lessons several times. Right. Intermediate or advanced levels seem fine. Yes. And the group size. Should we take a lesson with others or only two of us? We can each get more attention from the instructor if we choose the lesson for two. You're right. Then we have two options left. The suits are expensive to buy. Let's rent the suits. Okay, good thinking. Great. Let's take this lesson. (laughs) 
13번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. 하이노아. Yes, I enjoyed it even when I had to stay up all night. See? You have a passion for writing. I guess it would be fun to join a club I like. And you can get involved in events with other reporters. True. I can have more chances to spend time with them regularly while covering stories. Yeah. It'll allow you to connect with people with the same interests at the campus newspaper. 14번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Stephanie, I saw your photos of the school scenery in the lobby. They were amazing. Thanks, Mr. Brown. I'm really glad that people like my photos. Did you learn how to take photos professionally? Not really. I learned it by myself, searching for information online. How smart. Are you going to major in photography in college? I think so, but I don't know much about how to prepare for all that. Do you know anyone who is majoring in that field? Not really. I wish I knew someone who could give me some advice on how to prepare. Hmm. Oh, there's Julia Watson. She was one of my students, and she is now a famous photographer. Really? Do you keep in touch with her? Yes. If you want, I'll set up a meeting for you. 15번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 데이비드가 제니에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. David has a lot of volunteering experience in teaching children, and Jenny has just started the same volunteering. Jenny imagines that kids will learn many things and focus on her class. But her first class doesn't go as well as she has expected. Jenny tries to teach what she knows as much as possible. However, the kids get bored easily and don't pay attention to her explanation. Jenny feels frustrated and she asks David for advice. After hearing Jenny's problem, David thinks she should include more interesting activities that would help children take part in her lesson. So, he wants to tell Jenny that she needs to provide children with enjoyable activities to engage them in learning. In this situation, what would David most likely say to Jenny? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번. 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. Last time we talked about traditional holiday foods. Today, let's talk about traditional birthday foods around the world. Food is a big part of how birthdays are celebrated across the world. First, in Australia, Fairy bread is a must-have birthday dessert. It's a buttered piece of bread covered with sprinkles all over, 
and people cut the bread into triangles. Second, in Russia, people get a special message on their birthday, not from a card, but from a personalized pie. The message is carved into the dough on top of the pie. Third, eating a bowl of noodles on one's birthday is a deeply rooted tradition in China. It symbolizes the birthday person's long life. Lastly, people in England bake fortune telling cakes with certain symbolic small things inside on their birthday. For example, if someone bites a coin in their piece of cake, it means they'll be rich in the future. Now, let's watch a video about these foods. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. Last time we talked about traditional holiday foods. Today, let's talk about traditional birthday foods around the world. Food is a big part of how birthdays are celebrated across the world. First, in Australia, fairy bread is a must have birthday dessert. It's a buttered piece of bread covered with sprinkles all over, and people cut the bread into triangles. Second, in Russia, people get a special message on their birthday, not from a card, but from a personalized pie. The message is carved into the dough on top of the pie. Third, eating a bowl of noodles on one's birthday is a deeply rooted tradition in China. It symbolizes the birthday person's long life. Lastly, people in England. Bake fortune telling cakes with certain symbolic small things inside on their birthday. For example, if someone bites a coin in their piece of cake, it means they'll be rich in the future. Now, let's watch a video about these foods. 16번. 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은?